Hey guys, Scope here. We are back with more Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. We're taking on the Pyrite Coliseum. We're about to take on challenge number three, just to uh, level up our Pokemon now. A good people to have for this third challenge. Um, you're going to have a lot of grass types and also a lot of fighting types. So it would probably be best to put a fire type and a psychic type in front, like Entei and Espeon. But Parthenux, Parthenux, Parthenux. Oh, he's pretty close. He only needs 1464 experience. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to deposit the Dragon Fang from Parthenux, and I am going to give him the experience share just for this challenge, because I really don't want to have to worry about switching Pokemon out over and over. And we're going to put Entei and what's her face in front. So let's do it. Let's join a knockout challenge. All right, yes. Time for battle, or battle, challenge number three. That's right. Of five, that's right. Did I just say that's right after both sentences? That was so weird. I sound like... You beat Mir B? Who is that? This Mir B? Who cares about that past? Hunter Muna. Muna. A num. A mun? A mun? Numa. I don't know. Anyway, as you can see, bunch of grass Pokemon and fucking Shroomish! You going down, Shroomish. You going down! Did I tell you? I've told you guys already how much I hate Oddishes. This chick is trying to piss me off. So let's give it to Shroomish. Give it to Oddish. Let's see if we can Oko this chick. Boom! So this challenge is gonna it's gonna be tougher altogether, but it's gonna start off just like the other ones. They're only gonna have two Pokemon. They're gonna be first uh, stage evolutions, you know, yada yada. But as the battles progress, they will start having higher stage evolutions and three Pokemon, and then probably in the finals up to four. But even throughout all of Pyrite Coliseum, the most Pokemon anyone will have is four. I believe the final guy in Challenge Five only has four. Yeah. But they're all closer to level 55, and it just wow. So we did technically uh one round, one turn. This chick, she just ended up killing herself. And Parthenox gains 354. So basically, how it's gonna work is the total experience. It's gonna have it, and it's gonna give half to Parthenox, and then it's gonna split the other half between the two on the field. So the person with the experience share really does get a steal. I think it should just be split equally three ways, but. I guess that just doesn't work sometimes. Because then, you know, if it's uneven, then you have to figure out who of the three gets the rounded up one. And, you know, it's just... But then they could just give that one to the experienced share guy. I, I mean, I don't know. All right, we've got Chaser Kel. I'm wondering where Master Mirror B might have gone to. Of course, I have to battle either way. Well, he was just at Real Gam Tower, and then I whooped his ass there. So I don't know where he went after that, to be honest. I think he's gone for good. Alright, so this guy's got Spinda and Lilip. Lilip is a whore. We fought a Lilip before, and it was very, very annoying. And very difficult to take down. So, this time we might be able to do something about that. So, let me just check right here. Lilip is rock and grass type. So, there you go. Spinda is normal, and his third Pokemon is going to be grass and poison, but we'll get to that. So, um, Spinda is normal, your best. I'm gonna just kinda go for a little leap here and let Spinda do his thing. Just, I really wanna get Cradilly out of here because I hate Cradilly. I really, er, Lilip, sorry. Cradilly is its evolved form, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I hate it regardless just because its attacks are vicious and its stats are good and it's resilient. So, next turn we can handle Spinda. Rash, that's not good. It's probably one of the most powerful normal type moves out there. Aside from, you know, Hyper Beam, and that's gonna hurt Entei if you decide to use it on him, yeah. Ancient Power. Ancient Power is also very, very dangerous because it has the possible chance to raise all of the user's stats when used. That's right, every single stat. Special attack, attack, defense, special defense, everything. It's it's a doozy. Alright, so let's go for a um Psybeam on Lilip to finish it off, and how about a Fire Blast on Spinda there? And stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Spinda. Yeah, that kind of made your head spin, didn't it? No pun intended. And Lilip, why don't you go take a nap in the dirt there? Yeah, goodbye. No more ancient power for you. Wah, wah, wah. Maybe one day you'll grow arms, buddy. Look at it that way. 
And Parthenox is going to gain 673 there. He's going to—he's pretty close to a level. He's got to be close. He only needed a thousand and something in from just this this battle. Or this so far. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. I lose myself sometimes. I just kind of talk while I'm thinking about other stuff. And it kind of goes on autopilot. All right, so Roselia here, Grass and Poison. Fire Blast would be good, but Psybeam is double super effective. Four times weakness against Grass and Poison, I think. Or maybe it's just Poison. Yeah, I don't think Grass is super affected by. Just Once again, autopilot, just tune me out. But Fire Blast is more than enough to take out Spin to here. See you later. Now you can spin tonight in hell. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, jeez. I am crazy. It's official. Is that enough for Parthenux? Yes, it is. 46. Awesome. So after this battle, we will have some epicness going on with him. I really wish I could take the XP share off of him now, but I can't. Oh, Roselia looks pissed. Shadow Ball. Shadow Punch. Oh, super deflective. He was prepared to face a psychic type Pokemon. He sure was, wasn't he? All right, uh, let me send my boy Umbreon out here. Umby. <laughs> I would have named him Gumby if I had a chance to nickname. I probably could go to the name raider and change his attack, but or change his name. But where's the fun in that, really? Say hello to my little foot. <laughs> and then no, not little foot like my Meganium, like Entei's little foot. Stomp. You see what? It's just great. Poison point. Oh yeah, that does a lot of good now. Battle's over. Sorry, too late. Parthenix, 800 experience, dude. Oh. Really should have just. Uh, but then, you know, for him to gain the experience, I would have had to either like change him in during these battles or put him in front. But then, after he got the experience in front, I would have ne not needed him anymore. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The good news is, oh, here we go. I always forget. Okay, do not press B. Set down the controller. Set it down, bro. I'm not setting it down. It's on my lap. But all right, and prepare for one of the most epic evolutions. Like you know. The Bravo looks nothing like Flygon to me. They look like total opposites. So there you go. Parthenax has evolved into his final form, Flygon. That's right. Still ground and dragon type. But now his stats are awesome as balls. His attack and special attack go up immensely. So now he can utilize Earthquake a lot better. But like I was saying, the good news about keeping Entei and check out my muscular bod. Why don't you go blow yourself, Torf? How about that? Uh, yeah, the good news about keeping Espeon and Entei out in front, though, is we can just pretty much breeze through these battles because we don't need to switch any Pokemon and we've got the type matching down. It's unfortunate that we have to use Entei to annihilate a lot of these guys, but that's just the way the chips are falling, you know? Fire is a necessary type to have in this team. Alright, so Psybeam, Shimachop, he's Fighting type, Fire Blast, Acacnea, he's Grass type. It's doesn't get any simpler, folks. If these guys weren't so high levels, we might just take them out with one hit. Entei's strong enough with Fire Blast and his awesome stats that he will take out Cacnea. Espeon is a little bit lower level, you know, but with the Twisted Spoon and the, um, you know, her awesome stats, we might, I mean, if it was Psychic, if we were using Psychic, yeah, if she had learned Psychic by now, definitely. Um, but I know she learned Psychic in between sometime now and level 50. It should be coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah, if she learns Psychic soon, though, we definitely will have to keep her on our team because yeah, it's just so good. Alright, anyway, and this guy's last Pokemon is Gloom. Fire Blast will do it. And it's that simple, really. Thank God we don't have to hear the semifinal music for that long because, like I said, not my favorite. And you all just got one hit killed. How does that feel? You should have said, watch how elegantly my Pokemon die instead of dance, because that's what they really did. They just died, and it wasn't that elegant. Look at this Colosseum, dude. It's a piece of crap. It really is. I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> did you see? Even though I lost. Yeah, I saw, bro. Fine, I'll give you credit. Yeah, your Pokemon were, they were nice looking, I guess. I mean, they were clean. <laughs> they were well bathed. I, to... I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. Don't get too cocky. Scope. That's what this guy is saying, basically. Legam. It's like Liam with a G in the middle. Just randomly. This guy has a Nuzleaf and a Grovile. Apparently, he's doing an all-grass run of Pokemon Coliseum. 
Kind of like Tennis Bubba 13 is doing all grass running Pokemon Emerald. Kind of funny. Well, guess what? Sorry, guys. Er, but I've got your worst nightmare here, and that is Entei and his Fire Blast. Let's take out Grovile first. He's... Yeah, he's preparing a Solar Beam. He's preparing to fire in his Lasers. He's charging his Lasers, so... Probably better to take him out, especially since he's got slightly better stats. He is a second stage evolution, whereas Nuzleaf is first. Nuzleaf is first, right? Yeah, he is. He evolves into Shiftry. Shittery, as I like to call him. If I ever had a Shiftry on my team, which I never will, I would na nickname him Petrie from the Land Before Time. I was almost thinking about, um... Wait, what? Oh, why did I use Psychic on him? Duh, he's part, uh... He's part Dark-type, that's right. You forget things like this, you know? Anyway, Laron is, uh... Well, god, I can't very well do much to this guy, can I? Guess we'll just leave Espeon in to see what comes of it. And anti I mean, he's Fire Blast Laren. He is Steel-type. He would get obliterated by Fire Blast. You know. If he had a Fighting-type move, it'd be... Quad effective against Laron. So. Oh, he was burned, though. Burn! Return's not going to do very much, but... Meh. It'll get the job done. Explosion! Well, there you go. You just kill yourself for me. Works for me! You really didn't have to do that to kill Espeon, you know? You could have just done a... Some other random move, and it probably would have happened. But I guess you wanted to kill both of us, didn't you, you dickhead? You're just mean-spirited. That's alright, they've got enough experience now, anyway. Oh man, it even hurts Laron? I really had no idea about that. And now his Laron's actually going to faint, too, from... From, uh, the burn. That's kind of funny. So, who wants to reap the experience? How about Chicken J? And Umbreon. <laughs> Go get him, guys. Just sit down here, let him kill himself, and take the experience. He might actually get a move off, though. That's right. Didn't really think about that. Body slam. We could survive that. Look at that. Chicken J is such a fucking trooper. I love it. Oh, I didn't even have to do anything. No! He reminds me of, um, Laron reminds me of that Colossus that you fight in the, uh, in the Colosseum and Shadow of the Colossus. I forget his name, but I'm killing myself for forgetting his name, because I remember all of their names, usually. I don't know. Maybe I'll put an annotation. Chicken J is trying to learn light screen. Uh, no. Fuck that. I don't need no light screen. It's weak sauce, dude. Probably be a good idea, but I'm just too attached to my moveset now, man. Uh, maybe if I was doing this after the normal game like I usually do, and I wouldn't need Thunder Wave anymore, because I'm not really that interested in paralyzing people anymore. Yeah, you know. It is natural that I get cocky. Alright, let's do this. The finals... Oh, wait. That was the finals. Holy crap. I thought that was a semifinal. Damn, that went by quick. We battled fabulously. $7,000 and TM07. What is TM07? I think it's a grass move? Oh no, it's hail. Ah, summons a hailstorm that hurts all types except ice. Probably wouldn't benefit us very well since we don't have any ice types, but... You know, if you wanted to hurt the enemy, I guess there's that. Alright, so let's... I'm gonna save real quick, and then I'm gonna look at the lineup for Challenge 4, and... I will... Meet you back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and thank god I saved there, because what you're seeing is actually a few minutes after, um... I went into Challenge 4, and I realized I actually forgot to take the Experience Chair off of Parthenax, and that's the whole reason we're here, is to get experience for all of our Pokemon, so that was kind of taken away from that, so I just reset. And now we're definitely going to take that from him. Experience Chair, alright, and let's give him his Dragon Fang back. That's actually, the Dragon Fang is going to come really in handy here. There we go. Alright, okay, so um, I guess I'll explain this again since that's going to get cut out. These people mostly have Ground-type Pokemon in this challenge. But they do have a little bit of variety. Um, if you have a water type Pokemon, I would recommend putting it in front, but I don't. So we're going to go with Littlefoot, just as good. There are some dual type weaknesses that Grass will do good against. But there's also some flying type and water type Pokemon that these people use. So Chicken J will do just as well in front. So we're going to go with those two. All right, let's do it. Yeah, baby. Yes, of course I will. And Misty's going to stand over there. I don't know what she was doing over there, but... Okay. 
All right, so challenge four. Things are going to ramp up a little bit more here, but not too bad. I was expecting a little bit more resistance here at this point, but um, challenge five is where things are going to get super serious, like super secret special awesome. All right, this guy's got Baltoy and Hootoot. Baltoy is uh, psychic and ground. Hootoot is normal and flying. So, you know, attack appropriately. Now, what I could have done is also put Entei in front with Littlefoot and got a Sunny Day Solar Beam combo going. And I could have used that in a lot of places, but it's honestly not necessary. But, um, you know. I am going to use... Fuck. I mean, two Giga Drains will take out Baltoy, but still a little Solar Beam, so I really don't know what I should be going for. Let's just do Solar Beam. You haven't seen me use it yet, so there you go. And we'll go with Thunderbolt on Hoot Hoot. Setting up a Rain Dance is pretty much pointless here because we don't have any water Pokemon to benefit from the power increase. They don't have it. He doesn't have any fire Pokemon, you know, for us to decrease their power. And by it would take two moves to set up Rain Dance and then use Thunder to kill Hoot Hoot. But one Thunderbolt will kill him anyway, so that's pointless. And he doesn't really have any other Pokemon, to, other flying Pokemon to benefit from having 100% hit ratio Thunder, so... There's your sign. Okay, and he's also got a new mail, which is Fire Ground. So my Thunder won't do very well against him. But Chicken... Ch or what's his face, Will? So let's just... I mean, actually, okay, yeah, new mail is Fire type, so I guess Rain Dance will help us here. In case he decides to use Fire on Littlefoot, which he probably will. So there's Solar Beam. Epic as a human ball sack. Seriously. It's great. Looks awesome. Very powerful. I believe it's 120 base power, same as Solar or uh, Hyper Beam. So if you get Sunny Day off and you can do that in one move, it's super worth it. Yeah, damn it! I wish I could have gotten my Rain Dance off first, because that's gonna kill Littlefoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Whatever. Dickhead. That's right. You heard me. All right. So who's gonna reap the exponential rewards? Looks like Umbreon and Espeon need it. I'll go for Espeon, of course. So if you have a Water-type Pokemon, it will pretty much own Numel here with four times weakness. But I don't, once again. So, wah, wah, wah. Alright, so let's use Psybeam here. It's pretty much useless to try even try anything with Chicken J, because it's not going to affect him. He's ground, but I really don't have anything else to do until Espeon kills him here, so we'll just wait. Focus energy, perfect. Waste your turn. Great, love it. Love it. Check it, J, use thunder. Yeah, yeah, we know. Maybe I should have taught him focus punch, man. Seriously. Alright, and goodbye to your face. Espeon is so fast, I just love it. Even at level 40, she's outspeeding level 52 Pokemon, man. I tell ya. Chick is crazy. Here we go. Awesome. It's battle one. And that guy, did that guy have three Pokemon? Yeah, he did. So now you know we're getting serious because battle one, the first battle in challenge four, this guy has three Pokemon. I would have been able to beat Mir B after all. Uh, yeah, you would have. Mir B was a pansy. At this point in the game, at that point in the game, he had like 30 to 35 level Pokemon. Yours is level 50, dude. You would have killed him. Hell, even now, his Pokemon were only like 40 something. But your Pokemon were kind of weak, and you only had three. And I beat you, and I barely beat me or B. So, well, I didn't barely beat him. Anyways, the good news in this challenge is trainers two and three only have two Pokemon. So, bodybuilder Saben. That sounds like a man's name. Short for Sebastian, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, two Pokemon. This guy has a Rhyhorn and a Meta Titty. Mega Titty. So we're pretty well. Uh, versed here. Uh, Metatite is fighting and psychic, as you know, and Rhyhorn is ground and rock, so being ground and walk, both water and grass are quad effective against him, so a nice placed Giga Drain should eliminate him from the face of this planet. And Thunder is probably, well, you know, Thunderbolt is probably even powerful enough to take out Metatitty. So, I'm sorry I keep calling it Metatitty, it's just so funny. You know, and his head looks like a tit. It really does, like one facing up, kind of. 
So, you know, I'm, it's just funny. But yes, don't. I'm basically what I'm saying with this is don't comment saying his name's Meta Tight. Like I know I can, I can pronounce words and names. You know, it's just for fun. All right, you want Chicken J? Nice. Before I got an attack off on you, you're a douche bagel. All right, so obviously the way to go here is. Um, wait a second. Did I just? No. Okay. You kind of can go either way with dark, either dark or um, psychic will do good damage to Metatite because those are his two weaknesses. But I don't know. But the thing is, he's gonna his other type is gonna be good against you. Fighting is good against dark, and psychic is good against. Uh... Well, no, I guess I should have sent out a psychic Pokemon, shouldn't I? Because he probably would have killed Umbreon with that uh, dynamic punch there. Oh, come on. Just kill the little guy. Just kill him. Little foot, take care of this, will you? Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. And there you go, Sebastian. You're down. You lived up to the word on the street. Oh, there's a word on the street? Nice. Noise. All right, Trainer 3 also only has two Pokemons for the semifinal. And this guy is the guy that um, Bayleaf is just going to... Bayleaf, Meganium, Littlefoot is going to utterly own because he has two Pokemon. They are both. She has two Pokemon. And why does the picture show... The picture shows it's Hunter Athon. But it's, and it is Hunter Athon, but it's a chick. The picture shows it's a guy. And it also says that she has a Geodude, not a Graveler. Man, this guy is so good. It was only a 9.99 guy I got like when I first got this game from Toys R Us. It really does suck. It's funny. In one of the pictures, it shows the guy, and it says the name of the Pokemon. You know, is Magneton at level 44, which is right. But then it shows a picture of a Rayquaza, and I was like, "What? This guy has a Rayquaza?" And then it says Magneton, and I'm like, "Oh." But I mean, it has multiple errors like that where it shows the wrong picture of the person or. It says the Pokemon wrong, like Geodude. A lot of the times it has the types wrong. And sometimes it even goes so far as to say wrong things. Like, oh, it says blah, blah, blah is fire type. So use grass type for super effective attack. And it's just like, oh my god, who the fuck wrote this? A five-year-old? Like, a dyslexic guy? What's the thing here? So basically, if we had Razor Leaf here, it would do well. But it would probably take two turns to kill them just because it's weak. So two Giga Drains will do just as well. I'm going to go for Graveler first because he probably has Self-Destruct or Explosion. Um, my Thunder's not going to do very good. I'll just throw a Rain Dance out there. Why not? So, yeah, you know, take out, take out him first, I would, because he could probably take out your whole team. But the good news is he would take out Pupitar with it too, so it might expedite the battle. But I would like Chicken J and Littlefoot to get the experience. Yeah, Pupitar is not very threatening. Rain dance. I just like the rain. Why not? <laughs> I mean, a Chicken J just looks like he's dancing in the rain. Look at him, he's just bobbing his head, having a good old time. He's such a happy Pokemon. That's one of the reasons I can't help but put him on my team. He's just awesome. Thunder Wave's not going to work. Yeah, I know. Also, if you had a Water-type Pokemon, it would own these guys because they're... Quad weak to water as well as grass, so either way there you're pretty good. Did he not die? He didn't, that little cock monkey. Did it not work the first time he used that? Really? I've never seen a like a weather attack move not work. Like fail. I didn't even know they could. Whatever, let's just finish him off. Body slam. Down down. And that is the semifinals. Quite an easy semifinal. I think they should have put this chick first and then had the first guy has the semifinal. But, you know, I'm not the game designer, I guess, right? And, you know, it's, I think I do a good job. Uh, yeah, thanks, I guess. I can thank you, actually, because it's your fault that you had crappy Pokemon and that I won, so thanks for having crappy Pokemon and letting me win. Well, you didn't let me win, but you let me win via having crappy Pokemon. All right, it's the final. This guy is tough. This boy, should I say? It's um, unless the picture's wrong. Again, no, it's not. 
He has got four Pokemon. They are all in the high 50s. High, I mean, high mid 50s. Um, he's got 155, 154, and 253s. And there's some good Pokemon, too, like Gligar, who is ground and flying, so he covers his weaknesses quite well. And also Shelgon, who is dragon type, so, you know, chances are if you're doing this at a relatively early point in the game, you will not have seen a dragon type yet, and you won't really know how to deal with it. Well, as you know, because we have Parthenux, dragons are weak to dragon and ice type, so if we can get Parthenax out here, and get a Dragon Breath off, we should be able to own Shelgon, and that's pretty much all that's going to do really good damage to that guy. But in the meantime, we got to work on taking Gligar out. Now, Giga Drain isn't going to do that much because he is part flying type, and our electric attacks are not even going to affect him, as a matter of fact. So um, I'm just going to set up a Thunder Wave on Shelgon for the meantime to kind of uh, just keep him, keep him under control. And hopefully Little Foot with his Giga Drains will gain enough HP back to sort of... Well, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, Gligar is his highest level Pokemon at 55, though. So there you go. And Shogun's going to use Frustration. Yeah, we definitely got to keep this guy under control. Isn't Frustration the move that does more damage based on how much you dislike your trainer? <laughs> So is that, is that what's going on? Did these guys hate you or something? All right, so we are going to... Oh, man, what am I going to do? Let's body slam Gligar just for the possibility. I think it'll do more damage, and it'll possibly... Because it'll do neutral damage, and it'll hopefully paralyze him, maybe. And Chicken J doesn't really have much to do here, but I really need to keep Littlefoot alive just for the sole fact that... One of his Pokemon he has later, but I'm actually going to... Fuck, I want to switch to Parthenax, but you know what? No, I'll just wait until somebody dies because I can't afford for him to die as soon as he gets sent out. So, um, Rain Dance is in effect. No, it's not. But what the hell, I'm just going to try Thunder on Shelgon. And he's going to try and kill What's-His-Face there, and he's going to succeed, isn't he? Yep. That is okay. That Gligar is nasty, I tell you, but once you take care of him, it's not too, too bad. So, the best bet, I think, against him would be... Probably... Let's just send out Espeon. Let's try Espeon. Yeah, this kid's nasty, I tell you. Definitely a hard battle, and... Uh, kind of showing you what's to come for Challenge 5. There we go. See, Paralyzation helps. Alright, so now what we're going to do is Psybeam Gligar. I'm focusing on getting this Gligar out first, which I guess I shouldn't. I should probably focus on... Um, taking out Shelgon just because he's annoying, but um, I'm not going to put a Rain Dance out because he actually has a Pokemon, a Water-type Pokemon um, in his arsenal, so I don't really want him to be powered up. That would be worst-case scenario. Especially now since I don't have my Grass Pokemon to take him out as quickly as possible. So the Pokemon's Quagsire, his Water Pokemon, so it's dual-weak to Grass-type moves, so it would be... That's why I kind of wanted to keep Littlefoot alive, but can't do it, you can't do it. Please don't kill Espeon or Chicken... What? Just don't kill anybody. You're an asshole. Critical hit my ass. Next turn, Espeon is really fast. She would have taken out Gligar, but... Whatever, you're a butthole. Alright. Uh, I should just... Fuck, I don't know what to do. Alright, Parthenax is level 46. He's awesome. He's gonna go first. His Dragon Breath is gonna obliterate Shelgon, hopefully. And... I am going... Thunder Wave won't do shit to Gligar. You know what? Fuck this. We're not going to take Shogun out first. We are going to take Gligar out first. Because... He's weaker. So... Should I put... No, we're not going to do Rain Dance. Call you chicken. Yeah, no good not listening. Yeah, he's in his own little world there. Go ahead, do it to Parthenax. You're not going to do shit. I would prefer you to attack Chicken J. He's not doing very good stuff for me right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Uh, uh. Wait, why didn't I just use Thunder on... Why did I call Chicken J? I forgot that I could use Thunder on frickin... Shogun over there. I'm just not up to snuff, guys, and I apologize for that. Pelipper? Are you... Oh, yeah, he does have Pelipper. I forgot. Pelipper is dual weak to... He's water and flying, so he's dual weak to... 
to um, Thunder, actually. So that's this works out well, actually, because Parthenax can own Shellgon with super effectiveness, and Chicken J can probably Thunderbolt Pelipper to death. Why did I think he had a Quagsire? Who has a Quagsire? How did I even see a Quagsire? Does anybody here have a Quagsire, or am I just... Oh, no, wait, he still does have a Quagsire. He has one more Pokemon. He does, because he has four. God, freaking Parthenax is gaining levels like a boss. Yeah, see? I'm not tripping. I knew it. I totally... Fr oh, Ten Nose. Goodbye, Parthenax. Yeah. That is his hidden weakness, his Ice type. I mean, Dragon type is his weakness, but Ice type is quad weakness. All right, so... Ugh, Quagsire is water and ground. Your absolute best bet is indeed um, grass, but that is not an option anymore. Unfortunately. So we're just going to have to go with powerful attacks. Yeah, alright. We don't have very many Pokemon left, and the Pokemon that we do have left are not very good against Quagsire. But if we we have three and he's only got one, we can double team this guy, so we should be okay. Let's just go with our strongest. I'm gonna confuse him. Chicken Jay's thunder attacks don't do anything against this guy. He's not even affected by them, so um, do not put a rain dance. I guess I'm just gonna kind of sit here and do nothing. I really find myself in this predicament with Chicken Jay way too often. It's a little unnerving, really. Mud shot. Okay, fine. Well, as long as you're taking out Chicken J, that's actually doing me a favor because he can't do anything against you anyway. The only thing is, now I've got to send out Entei, who is both super affected by water and ground, so he can pick his poison to take him out, really. And then it's just Umbreon, and this guy's level 53, and I don't think Umbreon can stand up to him, to be honest, by himself. But we've got him confused now. We can use Faint Attack. No, you know, I'll use Bite to try and make him flinch. I could use Sunny Day to weaken his water type attacks, but that's just stupid. I am going to use Hyper Beam, because we need to make a power play here. And Hyper Beam is the attack to do. Oh my god, why so weak? Why? You know what? We, we don't need to worry. He's still confused. Please hit yourself. Just save me here. Oh shit. I think that hits both my Pokemon, too. Oh, Entei, you're a beast. Oh no, just it's Entei, sweet, and he survived. It may have looked like I cut there, but no, I was just pressing B, because, you know, that's what I do when I think a move's going to do a lot of damage to me. I kind of press B as, like, as if to try to make the counter stop. I know that's just weird, and it doesn't work, but it's superstition. Entei must recharge. Umbreon can use another bite. Yeah. We might be okay here. It all depends. If he hits himself, we're okay. Thank you. All right, that's what I needed. That Confuse Ray saved me one too many times. Alright, let's go for Faint Attack here and Stomp. And he's extremely slow. We should both go first, so... Whew. That cut it kind of close. That makes me extremely scared for Challenge 5. I don't know. The guy in Challenge 5 has pretty much the same level Pokemon, the final guy, but... Um, you know, they're obviously better Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, you are strong like they say. That's right. But as for now, challenge four, complete. Complete. We are owning level 50 Pokemon, people. What's up? Yay! And we get 5,972. Why do I get less money? Does it... It's because some of my Pokemon died? TMO5! Hell yeah. I have no idea what that is. I don't remember. It is Roar. Oh my god, are you serious? What am I going to do with that? <laughs> okay, well, um, that's definitely going to be it for this episode. I'm going to save. I believe my Pokemon are healed up. They, I think every time you come out of them, they're, yeah, yeah they're fine. So I'm going to save, and in the next video, we will finish off this Coliseum. Hopefully, we will take on the most difficult challenge of Pyrite Coliseum, Challenge 5, and hopefully be able to conquer it, and then we will be done here, and we will be decent. We will be higher levels than before. And hopefully ready to take on some more stuff at Real Gam Tower. So, I will see you guys in the next episode.